Hey everybody, this is George with you at the Volo Audi Museum, and today I want to invite you on a virtual test drive in a 1957 Pontiac Star Chief. Now this car looks awesome. I love the cars from the 50s. The style, the personality, the character, everything about them I just love. If you haven't already, click subscribe on the YouTube channel, turn on those notifications so you get updated anytime Jay or myself do a video, and you don't miss out on the car of your dreams. Now the purpose of this virtual test drive is for you to get a look of it out in the sun, see what it looks like, virtually put you in the driver's seat. So when you're making this decision to buy a, or purchase a classic car, you have as much information as possible. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, for all additional information, you get to go on over to volocars.com when we're done here. Check out the hundred or so extra pictures from inside out, under the hood, under the, the uh, underneath the car we put up on the rack, get all the pictures for you. Uh, the detailed write up the pricing and then give our sales department a call as you notice when i'm walking around i see a little chip in the paint there I see a little one up there touching it up it's not a super custom paint color it's ivory oh the car looks amazing the the, the blue and the ivory the interior is the same way it looks phenomenal a little wear on the door up here but the panel itself looks great. Come on in. Go ahead and put the seatbelt on here. I was looking in here, the car looks fantastic. Even a tissue box. You can give to all the people that are crying that they don't have this. Everything looks really great. This was either maintained or restored really great. Naturally, they didn't replace everything inside. You have to check out Jay's video and write up to see what's still original on this car. But overall, what a beautiful car. Starts right up, all the gauges move. We'll keep an eye on the, uh, the engine temp, see what it does. See if the radio works. Sometimes you gotta give them a second to kick in. So do that. The uh, Blower kicks on, and there's the radio. Notice the clock's not moving. That's never a make or break to me. Overall, it's great. I absolutely love the interior exterior of this car. This is the first time myself or anyone else from the shop gets a chance to take it on the road. So we're gonna be experiencing everything together for the first time. If any hiccups arrive that we need to arise that we have to take care of, we get to know about it right now. So let's go for a ride. The ring's still there too. Those are pretty expensive to replace. Good size. The speedometer's working. Drive straight down the road. condition too. The brakes, you stop just fine. They are a little more on the hard side than soft. your road and I didn't hear any bad rattles or anything. What a solid, just fun blast from the past. Great visibility throughout the whole thing too.
just a smooth, fun, enjoyable ride. The seat is really comfortable too. I know in some seats you've sat in before and it's you kind of just sink into it and it almost folds to you, you feel stuck. This one still has a good amount of pressure holding you up, it feels great. It's on up to cruising speed just fine. I would drive this around all day anywhere you need to go. All the room in here in the trunk, it would be my uh, it'd be my grocery getter too, just so I can be in better style than those other folks there. <laughs> Check out the turning radius. I haven't turned all the way, I'm not hearing anything, no tire rubbing. Just an absolute beautiful car. Anytime you have ones that look phenomenal, function great, like it's just, uh, there's no better feeling in the world than having something that's over 60 years old, just maintain, I don't know, nothing like it. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, click subscribe on the YouTube channel, turn on those notifications. And now it's time to head on over to volocars.com, see what this baby looks like in the photo room, get all the information we have, all the details on it and the pricing, and then give our sales department a call because we've had this one for not very long and I've already personally answered a couple phone calls on it. As always, I appreciate you.